obesity as such is considered as an aesthetic problem for most people. You know, I just look a certain way. People are talking about my body, so I want to lose weight. But you're talking about this more as a disease. And in fact, you've explained this again in the book. Obesity is called ABCD now, which stands for adiposity-based chronic disease. So it is a serious condition. So at this stage, the existing solutions of lifestyle changes, eat less, move more, right? Be mindful about what you're eating. So it works for some people, you would agree, but it doesn't work for you know a significant number of people also. So what do you think is the difference in approach for these two people? Of course, it is a brain thing. Like you said, some people are just unable to do it. Is it something that is applicable to some people, not applicable to some people? Is there a genetic factor involved here? Unfortunately, Raj, that is still not understood. Who are the people who require this help? Like at a very micro level, it's not understood. And that's a real active area of research right now. Who are the people who require these drugs who don't? Mm -hmm. you know, like statins for cholesterol. Now, exactly. so similar kind of situation. Now, the, the issue here is that whenever that happens, you choose very crude conservative criteria. So, for example, it is understood that if someone's body mass index is over 30, whatever the fallacies, whatever the, the drawbacks, but it's still the most popular tool is the body mass index. Body mass index takes into account just height and weight. So right. if that is over 30, you probably require pharmacologic assistance to lose weight to get you to the desired level and then if you're thinking of obesity as a disease which it is or abcd as you very correctly said then if you have disease manifestations associated with obesity like diabetes hypertension heart disease fatty liver then maybe even at a bmi of 27 you may require this medication but to really honestly and accurately say this guy requires medication. This guy does not. We have not cracked that code yet. So we are falling back on conventional BMIs and existence of comorbidities as everyone's got used to that during COVID comorbidities as defining factors to decide who requires this or not.